Welcome to video 127 in series 3, and now we'll write a script to activate those shards. So make a new C sharp script and call it destructible activate shards. Open it up. Private destructible master. destructible master public string shard layer I'll just call this uh, one while I'll type in ignore raycast as the default now I could use a layer mask here but I'm not because uh, for some reason in this version of unity uh, there's a bug and sometimes the uh, wrong layer gets assigned even though it's selected in the inspector. So I'm just using a text, a string, and uh, it's easy enough to assign as well. Public game object shards. Public bool should shards disappear. Oh, and uh, oops, one S, not two. Private float minus okay I won't need the uh, start and update methods and I'll have here a new method void activate shards if shards is not equal to null it's not equal to null that means we've got actual fractured, fractured stuff shards dot transform dot parent uh, is equal to null so that'll uh, push it out into the hierarchy and then uh, shards dot set active true now just quickly recall that uh, the shards they're underneath so the shards object is going to be the fractured barrel and uh, this is what I'm going to remove the parent from, so it'll end up in the hierarchy. And uh, it will be activated. And then there are all these child game objects. So now I'm going to do stuff to them, like, uh, uh, well, the tag's already untagged, which is fine, but it will be set to, it could be set to item. And uh, I'll set the um, uh, layer, of course, by code. So let's go back. For each transform shard in shards dot transform shard oops wrong one shard dot tag uh, is equal to uh, untagged so make sure you spell this and write it in exactly the same way because that is an actual tag uh, which is called untagged and uh, yep, just one equal sign of course shard dot game object uh, dot layer is equal to layer mask dot name to layer and that uh, layer is what we had above uh, which is what did I call it shard layer okay okay so that sets the tag to untag so it's no longer uh, because it will probably get set to an item when I run it each of the uh, you know the item tag script will set everything to an item and uh, I don't want that, of course, so uh, otherwise the player can pick up the shards, and that would be, uh, well, bizarre. It's not The shards are not items. Hey, you could turn them into items. I guess nothing's stopping you from doing that, but it just seems useless. And uh, then from there, uh, I set the uh, layer, obviously. And uh, why am I putting it? Yeah, so I forgot to mention that. Why is it ignore raycast? So that way, when the uh, shards appear, they don't uh, block... Uh, the uh, line of sight of the uh, barrel explosion otherwise uh, suddenly uh, stuff might not get hurt or damaged because of the uh, uh, because of the shards blocking it like if the player is standing next to a barrel that suddenly explodes and if the, sh the shards are not ignore raycast they're not on that layer then the player is a good chance the player won't get hurt because the uh, line of sight check will get blocked by one of the shards that suddenly appears that gets uh, activated so that's why you put it to ignore raycast 
If it's not something that's exploding and imparting damage like a chair or something like that, then yeah, it would make sense to use, uh, don't use ignore raycast, just put like default or something like that. Anyway, let's keep going. So shard dot get component. Rigid body dot add explosion force. My mass, so I'll use the mass. It's not meant to be a big explosion force or anything. It's just to make the uh, destructible object just fall apart, basically. So it doesn't sit still as fractured pieces, but in fact it will break apart, which is uh, the effect that I'm after. Uh, explosion position is transform dot position. And uh, explosion radius, I'll just give some random value like 40. Upwards modifier is zero, and force mode dot impulse. Okay, done. If shards should disappear, or if should shards disappear, if that is the case, then destroy uh, this shard that we've just made. This shard, and after let's say some time, like. 10 seconds. You could make another variable up above, make it public, and then choose how long you want it to stay for. Oh, I'm just going to hard code it. I'll just put it as 10. And I should just remember to put it as game object, because it's the game object that I want to get rid of. So shard.game object, because that's a transform. So just remember that shard.game object. And after uh, 10 seconds, Okay, set initial references, so destructible master is equal to get component destructible master and if get component rigid body uh, is not equal to null my mass is uh, equal to get component rigid body dot mass and then set initial references here and a destructible master dot event destroy me so of course that's when it should be called uh, this method activate shards okay copy that over oh oops what am I doing here not call event it's event destroy me there there we go Okay, and unsubscribe. Okay, save all of that. And uh, that should be it. So let's go over to uh, Unity. Go to the exploding barrel. Drop it on. Okay, so the shard layer is what I want. Now for the shards, this is the fractured barrel. Yes, it should disappear. So I'll just enable that. Apply. Good. All right. So let's see that in action. Okay, so let me just shoot that barrel. See its health drop. Excellent. Wow, that really went far away. I suppose this is a high explosion force from the uh, uh, from the actual destructible game object explosion. But there we go. So it looks like it's working very nicely. Let's try to take out a couple of golems. Ooh. So there you go. And you can't shoot it because it is ignore raycast, but you can make other stuff that is, uh, like, uh, not imparting damage. You can make that just in the default layer so you can shoot it. Now there is a bit of a, uh, thing though, like, uh, let me just restart that. See, like, oh, that's just a Unity editor thing with the lighting. Just ignore that. Now, how do I put the barrel down? Like, let's say I've got it here. Maybe I just wanted to reposition it. Maybe I was stockpiling, right? You know, you can't really easily throw it. <laughs> well, throwing is not a good idea anyway. So that causes it to explode and, well, kills you off if you're too close. So uh, in the next video, I'll just make a uh, simple script, just an item drop script. So you can just drop the barrel without uh, <laughs> throwing it. Okay, anyway, I'll see you in the next video.